uh, we're, we're sort of into the last quarter or so of the program, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we, we've dealt with the past, but we ain't got into the future yet, um, so, or, or, or to the now. So we, we've dealt with the fact that Jesus Christ has <coughs> dealt with our sin. We've dealt with the fact that if we want to, um, if, if, if we're willing to repent and willing to turn around, he's willing to restore. Yes, We've dealt with the fact of his love and his sovereignty that he's doing with that. And callers have, 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 have also underlined that for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, day one, you've made these decisions. You see the past is wiped out. You mm -hmm. see there's something fresh. Um, how now do what do we put into practice to stop us from falling back into those things again mm -hmm. um, Colossians 2 6 and 7 uh, maybe if I, you, you can start there and, uh, and, and, and work as well I always find this very interesting um, what, what it actually says because Colossians 2 verse 6 and 7 says as you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him mm -hmm. having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith as you're instructed and overflowing with gratitude. So it, 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 it's got words like firmly rooted, in other words, mm -hmm. so you don't get blown away. It's got, mm -hmm. wo it's got words like um, uh, being established. Mm -hmm. um, but as you have received Christ, so walk in him. How do we walk in him? How do we walk daily with him? Do, do we put in this... Uh, I, I always remember, I, I put it in quotes because everybody used to tell me this, quiet time, you know. <laughs> yeah. Some of my quiet times when I was young were so quiet, even I didn't know about them, you know. Um, but how do you do that? What do you put into practice? What are the, the, um, the practicalities that yes. we can encourage folks to put yeah, in Yeah, we there? did start uh, uh, just uh, looking at that just before uh, the phone, one of the phone calls came. Yes. We, we, we discussed about prayer and we just discussed about reading the Word of God as well. Um, Another thing that I've put down here, simply because you don't hear it very often these days, is to put yourself under somebody's authority. Now, right. we've spoken a lot with, with some of the people who have called in and emailed in about getting a crutch, getting somebody you can trust, you know, so that you can talk to. Uh, and putting yourself under somebody's authority. But Now, by that I mean um, w when you get into a fellowship and you get into a church, there are people there who have done it and have been there. Y usually the, 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 um, the, the older people in, in the fellowship, they know about life, not just about Christian life and about uh, being able to teach from the Bible, but they know about life and they mm -hmm. know what life can throw at you. Uh, and I think it's very important as a practical thing to do to put yourself under the authority in, in your own mind. I mean, you don't sort of sign a piece of paper to say, I am now under your authority, Pastor John, you know? Right. But in your own mind, say, right, these guys, th there's the pastor, th those are the elders, and the, or, or deacons, or, or whatever denomination you're in, and, and those are the guys who have been there, done it, and as they say, got the T-shirt, okay? And, and those are the guys that I'm going to take my lead from, from now right. on in. I'm not going to take it from, from, from Johnny Briggs down, down the pub, who's always mouthing off about who should be in Arsenal and who shouldn't be yeah. in Arsenal. Yeah. I'm now going to take my lead from these guys who seem to, to, to understand, A, the ways of God, and B, the ways of life. Yeah. It's very important to do that and put yourself under that authority. Um, uh, perhaps the next thing I would say then is to be active in your faith. Get on and do something. Don't just sit there or just go to church on a Sunday and, and allow it all to wash over you. Get involved. You've got a gift, a talent. Most people have got gifts and talents. Talent. Okay, and, and having put yourself under the authority of these guys who know a bit more about, about things than you do, now Ask them to help you seek out what gifts and talents you've got that can be useful to the cause. Mm -hmm. The cause is always to, to put more souls into the kingdom of God. Okay? Yeah. And, and you find that once you're active in your faith, it's an awful lot more difficult for the, for the evil one to come along, the enemy to come along and start knocking you off the perch that you're on now. Can we just sort of say that it, it, it's not just doing things, is it? In, no. in other words, 
we're not just doing these things so that we can get something or not just doing these things so that we can grow but what you're saying is uh, it, it's sort of like Ephesians 2:10 uh, that we walk in the works of four prepared that yeah. having come to Christ mm -hmm. as we receive Christ so walk in he's given us the talents and he says work there work here yes, do that yes. and, and and it's doing those things not to get but to give to him, to give, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, there, there are works that the Lord says elsewhere in the Word. I, I can't remember where. I've told you I'm not a chapter and verse guy. Um, but it, it says elsewhere in the Word that the Lord has prepared works for you to do. Yeah. There's already something there for you to do. Okay? You're a very special Just individual. That, Ephesians 2 verse 10. Why aren't you listening to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there, <laughs> very rarely I listen to you. Yeah. There are works for you to That's do. Right, You're a very special individual. It, 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 it's only you that can do the things that have been prepared for you. That's right. You Nobody know? else can do so, that. So get involved, get active, get those talents out there on display, and, and get involved in the teamwork of the church. Right. Okay? And uh, th those for me, are the bedrock of being able to walk a Christian walk. Again, th there are very many other variables, which means you're going to fail and fall on those yeah. things. But prayer, yeah. reading the Bible, yeah. if not daily, as often as you possibly can, fellowship, one with the other. There are those who tell me, and it winds me up, I can be a Christian without going to church. Well, yes, you will be a very weak and wishy-washy one mm -hmm. with no influence at all in your community. Um, and activity. Get involved, get your talents out there, get stuck into doing something in right. the fellowship that you belong. God is gracious and God is mm -hmm. merciful and God wants to restore, doesn't he? You know, he's standing there with his arms outstretched wanting yes, to restore. Absolutely. It, it, it's not that he, he's playing hard to get. Mm -hmm. uh, from, from that point That's of view. That's right. I mean, if that wasn't the case, then, then I would be in trouble for a start. Wouldn't um, we all? Yes, indeed. Wouldn't we no all? No doubt about it. Um, um, one of the things... Uh, can we, uh, just in case, I, I don't hear too much about it today, but I, I was brought up pestered on this idea of a quiet time. And yeah. if I didn't have my quiet time, I felt heaven had fallen in. And, you know, my. <laughs> um, I, I, I think, w would, would you agree with me, Julian, that to have a regular time of getting to know the Lord, and we'll put it at that that at the moment mm -hmm. is vitally important you you've talked about prayer you've talked about god's word mm -hmm. and both of those are aspects within that getting to know the lord but we do have to surely be to fight to put some time aside yes. mm -hmm. schedule instead of saying right that's my schedule but listen i'm going to put time aside at some point and it's got nothing to do with my, my, my worldly schedule. It's something that I need to do. Mm. Uh, I think that's a better way of doing it. it, it it's, a better, um, it's a better way of thinking, I think. Yes. Now, as you say, practically, um, again, it's one of the things that I was told when I was a young Christian, oh, your quiet time, and it should be first thing in the morning. It sets you up for the day, which is quite right. If you can do that, I think yeah. that's probably the best time to do it, is, is, is the first thing in the morning, when it does set you up for the day it gets your mindset right it gets your your, your whole demeanor for the day right that would be ideal that's the ideal spot to do it um i have a, a, a four and a half year old and a one year old uh who are my alarm calls <laughs> and, uh, and, and i remember it well. you remember that do you? i remember it, um, yes. well you know i'm getting on a bit as well i shouldn't be having I, my, my should kids should be old, should to, to 15 and, and 20 years old but but i started a little late and, and my alarm call is usually my four-and-a-half-year-old jumping on my head saying, Hi, Daddy, good morning. <laughs> yeah. um, so to, for me to have a quiet time at that time in the morning is just it's completely impractical. Yes. Uh, I have to look after the, the boys and, and, and the wife, and the wife will phone in in a minute and say, Oh, I, I get up first every yeah. morning. <laughs> yes, I know you do, darling. <laughs> Um, and and she, al she, allows, she allows me a, a ten minutes in bed uh, without the boys jumping all over me. But it, it's just not practical. Yes, right. It's not yes. the right time of day to do it for us. Yeah. However, we've got another 20 and odd hours in the day. You know, by the time we've got out to work and got the boys off to school, we've got another 20 hours in the day where we can set time right. aside one way or the other. Um, so, you know, maybe the time for us would be better when we've just put the boys to bed and it's all calmed down a little bit, and it's usually about 8 o'clock, and, and we can do it then. Yeah. 